September 11th, I was, um, I was actually getting ready to leave the house to go to Montague. And I had the TV on, and the news was on. It was breaking news about 9-11, about the first plane hitting the tower in New York. I just had a lot of guilt about sitting, relaxing in my home, eating apple pie that I made while these people are actually going through this. I just wanted to, I guess, share that there was caring out there. And there were several businesses that I went to, and um, I just checked off the list of the ingredients that I had. And each manager at every store, they were more than willing to help out. Um, after I had the ingredients, they showed up with rolling pins with it, like it was within two hours. And a restaurant, actually, uh, they donated their kitchen uh, and their dough-making machine to um, roll out the crust like you flatten it out. And then uh, it was the next day that we went to assemble the pots. So it was the children at Grand Trackety Elementary School, which is closed now. Um, they decorated uh, some pie boxes and then West Royalty Elementary School. Uh, they took another, they took uh, over a hundred boxes and colored their messages on there as well. One of the big things, one of the probably the biggest thing to figure out about uh, the whole task was to figure out how to transport the 231 pies down to New York City where it was a more than high security area and um, I made a phone call to one transportation transportation company here on the island and he said yes, no, it sounds great. This was before I had any of the donations done. It was one of my preliminary thoughts, I guess. And um, when I did call him and said uh, if he could give me a delivery date, I would actually work backwards to get the pies baked so they weren't sitting any amount of time. Um, he backed out. I think he thought it would never happen. And I think that kind of helped my story <laughs> for the second trucking company because I think they felt really bad. So they, they took them right to Nino's restaurant. So um, the day of 9-11, it was actually the day that um, we were going to be booking a family trip uh, to New York um, for November. And um, obviously our plans changed. There was a lot of uncertainty and fear and everything that went on with the 9-11. Uh, um, we did keep, we still went, um, we, we still went and we uh, stayed on the New Jersey borderline. Um, the lady I was in contact with for Nino's restaurant, uh, Renee, she actually said if we went down she would love to, she'd love to meet me and give me a tour of Nino's restaurant. So. Um, being on the bus going from the parking lot to go down to New York City, um, goosebumps. Um, anyways, you're on the bus and you're looking out the window and you're going to the bus stops. I don't. And there's pictures of, uh, I still get so broken up over it. But there's pictures of, um, like husbands missing and like they were, uh, like missing and like they had 9-11 and a picture of the like the father or the husband or son or whatever and it just really hit home because we we're on our way to go down to ground zero and just realizing people are still missing their family. When I was in there um, there was actually a New York policeman, his, uh, I don't remember his last name but it was uh, James, uh, he come over and uh, he was really touched about uh, these apple pies that come all the way from PEI and um, he said he was actually there when they come off the truck and he said it was like a huge deal that these pies they were actually waiting for them because the donations had actually run out of desserts they had no more desserts and these arrived just at the next meal time and he said like they had a uh, fire I don't start crying again they had firemen lined up like taking the crates or the boxes of uh, pies off the truck to bring them into the restaurant. And anyways, uh, he remembers, he said it was really good and <laughs> he put his uh, police hat on me and had a picture with me and whatever and it was just, it was really nice to hear that such a simple thing made such, uh, put a smile on somebody's face or 
meant something so much to somebody else.